Steve can do that. Well, well thank you, uh, Steve Leto. Um, it was reported that um, uh, ambassadors, actually four of them, the American ambassador, Meg Whitman, the British Chaje, and the Danish ambassador, as well as the representative of the United Nations community in Nairobi, and in fact, the UN offices, the very high ranking, um, came over to my residence. And uh, we agreed we will not, at this stage, address the media. Of course, they're all very concerned. Not just them as ambassadors, but the international community. The story of peaceful demonstrations turned violent by the police um, have received international visibility. On CNN, I personally watched some of these presentations on BBC, on Al Jazeera. We hope, by the way, to be able to meet with the international, some of these international correspondents in the next few days. And so everybody is concerned. And so, Steve, I hope I've answered your question, but we are saying, what sense does it make uh, to meet with people who are already committing acts of genocide? I was foreign minister in 1994 when genocide happened in our neighboring, in our sisterly state of Rwanda. We pray to God that this does not happen to our country. So it behoves all of us to take note of what is going on here. We also thank the African Union at the AU Commission on Human and People's Rights for their statement. How do you tear gas 53 children and make them develop highly cases of asthma and other complications? These are basic rights and you cannot negotiate on people's basic rights. Basic rights are basic human rights. And so that is where we are. I don't know if there's another question. Thank you.